Welcome back to the show. I say often on this show, my family and I love bush gardens. And of course, we are not alone. But when you pair those fabulous roller coasters, those wonderful animals with, oh, say beer fest, you know you've got a match made in heaven. And we love it when Becca Romzak from Bush Gardens joins us. And she's with us today. Okay, time out, Becca. I'm not used to seeing you in a kitchen setting. I thought you were going to be like with cheetahs behind you, a roller coaster behind you. Where are you? So right now I'm inside our animal care center, which typically we'd be doing nutrition demonstrations for one of the thousands of animals we have here at the park. But today we've got a different kind of nutrition we're talking about. We're talking about Beer Fest back at Bush Gardens every weekend through November 15th. Hey, I like that we're talking about uh, maybe help, maybe a fruity beer would give you some of those fruit components. I'll hold on to that one because I know you probably have examples of fruit beer along with examples of so many other craft brews because that's what Beer Fest really specializes in, right? Absolutely. We've got 17 Florida brews in park, including an entire cabin dedicated to our park, like partner Yingling. We've got a cabin all with Sam Adams favorites. We've got craft brews from all around the Bay Area and the state of Florida. It's like a beer road trip right in your backyard here at Bush Gardens. And we've now, got international delights that you really won't want to miss. I like that. And I want to point out, too, say people are like, oh, you know what? I'm not a huge beer drinker. One, I feel like there's something for everybody when it comes to the beer in this department, if you are over 21, of course. But there's also food and ways you can enjoy. Absolutely. And we even we know that everybody has a favorite beer. So if you don't have, a, if beer's not your thing, we've got bourbon tastings, tequila tastings, we've got mimosas, we've got sangrias, all of those great kind of summery fall flavors, those transition season favorites that are super good, which everybody's going to find something they really love. And like you said, food is also on the menu. And a big part of our food this year is, of course, beer. Our culinary team's gotten really creative by infusing some favorites like the Sam Adams Oktoberfest here, is infused into both of these savory dishes in front of me. So on this side, we've got the short rib, which has got that Oktoberfest flavor. It's on top of a cheddar and onion mashed potato, which just sounds like fall. <laughs> and then on this side, our chopped brisket sandwich is pepper smoked, and then topped with coleslaw and a little bit of crispy jalapeno for some heat, and that Sam Adams barbecue sauce as well. And we're so crazy, we're gonna take that beer. It's not only in the food here, the savory dishes, it's going to be in the sweet dishes too. So right here, what I have in front of me are beer cupcakes. So Natalie, what's your favorite kind of beer? Let me let me guide. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like my mouth is literally open right now. Um, my, I'm a, I'm a Hefeweizen girl, and I love fall seasonal beers. Okay, Anything all right. Yeah. Got, so seasonal opportunities. So you've got so Hefeweizen's got a little bit of that sweetness to it. You're going to have a Bud Light orange cake here. A whole We've got that orange citrus infused into the frosting. Those seasonal options like Angry Orchard has got some good, yes. good apple That's flavor good. over here. Of course, with gummy worms, those are the kinds of worms you want in an apple. <laughs> the wiggling black and tan. And then my personal favorite is the patty cake here. There's Guinness in the chocolate cake. And then on top, that's a Bailey's Irish cream cheese frosting. Oh, I love Guinness. I love what you're doing on that. Yeah, okay, Becca, I'm going to have to try that one. Something else I saw, by the way, great camera work, I want to point out to uh, to your lovely uh, person that is helping you behind the scenes. I'm seeing the beer glasses. Becca, I don't know if I've shared this with you before, but we literally have bush glass, bush gardens glasses all over our house. I think I need that. What is that? Thrills and taps? Thrills and taps. Yeah, yeah. These are fantastic glasses. So it's beer fest on one side and then thrills on tap on the other side. I love it. Okay, of course, we're talking about Beer Fest. That is the focus. But anytime we can catch up with you, let's talk about how people still can feel safe. What are some of those safety implements that you guys have put in that people are still able to enjoy the ride, still able to enjoy the animals? Absolutely. Our first priority is always providing a safe experience for our guests and our ambassadors. So at Beer Fest, that's implementing those dis physically distant cues to come up and get your food. And then once you're there, you're going to have the opportunity to do touchless payment. And then our culinary team is packaging everything in a physically distant safe way. We've got gloves, we've got masks. Everybody's prepared to offer a safe culinary experience so you can enjoy some of these amazing treats and feel good about it. And we've got that physical distancing throughout the whole park. Our park is 335 acres. 
We've got lots of open space to spread out, enjoy some great snacks, see some amazing animals, and get on some awesome coasters. So we're really making sure that everyone feels comfortable at the park. And that's okay. what we're doing. Yeah. We are out of time. I want to get this in real fast, the dates, how it works, and give me an insider tip. You know I like to know what the best way to do Beer Fest is. Of course, of course. So we are every Saturday and Sunday now through November 15th. And the best way to enjoy Beer Fest, it is included in your park admission, but you're going to want one of these Beer Fest sampler lanyards. So these guys are your tickets to all things tasty. They come in increments of 5, 8, 12, and a pass number exclusive 15. And being a pass member, it's never been a better time. We have an amazing offer out right now for our 2021 pass members, including, and I know you're a thrill, you're a thrill gal, that opportunity to be among the first to ride Iron Gwazi when it opens next year. So you want to get that annual pass, you got to lock it down. Wait, I can't wait. Great to see you. I can't wait to have fun at Beer Fest too. Thanks for being with us. Of course. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon.